This is graded footage of 10-bit video at 45 and 600 megabits per second. Can you tell which is which? If it's not evident, then use the lower rate. Save space, save money. You just won the game of life, like staying single. In this video, we're gonna explore the bit rates for the A7S Mark III, A74, FX3, and A1. Cameras like that that do 10-bit and S-Log3. I'll help you choose the right one, and it's not as simple as simply using the highest bit rate. Before getting into image quality, let's talk about video decoding. I'm using a 12-core AMD system with an Intel 1050 Ti. It's the bare minimum. Oh, by the way, my system has 32 gigs of RAM, and the footage sits on SSDs. Don't even attempt to use on spinning disks. They'll drive you crazy. Lame tech joke. Check this out. It's using the video decode properly. It's at 45 megabits, 420. However, when you go to 422, here's 100 megabits, 422, and the, C the GPU drops down to nothing. The CPU is now spiking. NVIDIA cards do not support 10 bit 422. And here we are back to 45 megabits, 420. And the GPU usage is high, CPU usage is down. 200 megabits per second, 422, and the GPU usage is down to nothing. CPU usage is up. I'm just trying to show you the behavior of these NVIDIA cards. They just don't handle 10-bit 422. Here's 150, 420, and you can see that the GPU is back in use and the CPU is down again. And popular among other YouTubers is 600 all intra. And I've heard that this one is supposed to be faster. However, look, it's not using the GPU, it's using CPU, although it is using less than long gop. Back to 420, and you can see it's back to using the GPU again. Q usage is nice and low now. Swap back to 422, and you can see that the CPU usage is higher. GPU usage is down to nothing. Jumping to 200, 422, and I hope you're getting the picture now. GPU is simply not being used at this point. So you have to take in heavy consideration because these choppy videos are gonna drive you mad when you're editing. So take it with a high grain of salt if you're recording. How are you going to edit? Are you gonna have proxies? Are you gonna create proxies? Or are you using a Mac? Having footage that's hard to edit can really eat away time and your soul, like TikTok. Wow. Time for image quality. One clip is at 100 megabits per second, the other at 200 megabits per second, a difference of 100 full megabits. However, one is using a high efficiency codec. Can it make up for the difference? I'm gonna give you some help and zoom in just a little bit more. Well, can you tell the difference? Here's the reveal. So it seems like that high efficiency codec is doing its job. It is producing a higher quality with lower bitrate. I simply can't tell any difference in image quality between these two video clips. Maybe it's my aging eyes. Expanding on that, we're gonna use 150 megabits per second HEVC compared to 600 megabits per second H.264 All Intra. What's different here is that All Intra records both A and B frames, so it doesn't do any interpolation. In theory, it should produce a better video clip. Let's zoom in so you can see the finer details. And what I can tell is that the All Intra does in fact look better. There's just a little bit more depth and separation when you're looking at the droplets. Let me label them for you in case you haven't figured it out. This is zoomed in, so even if you're not looking on a big screen TV, there should be a small difference between these two. Next up is the extreme opposite. Can you tell which codecs are being used? One is using a very low bit rate, the other is using a very high bit rate. However, this scene it's just not very turbulent. It's more designed for the lower bit rate to excel here. And even then, there is a small difference. You can see the artifacts when the waves come crashing in. 
And enough with the suspense, here is the reveal. So the all intra does look cleaner for this scenario. Even though the movement is slow, anywhere there's movement, it just has less artifacts. This next scene is at 150 compared to 600. Can you tell the difference? Let's zoom in a little bit just to make it a little bit easier. This one is really hard to tell. Maybe you have better eyes than me, but I am having a difficult time telling them apart. I just want to reiterate that these are already graded. This is your final output and how it looks with the different bit rates. Time for redemption. If you got the very first clip wrong, here is a retry. Going to the finale. Back to where we started. Can you tell the difference between the most extreme scenario of 45 megabits per second, H.265 versus 600 megabits per second? It's pretty clear in my eyes that the all intra is noticeably better. If you look at the droplets, they're less muddy when they're in the sky. It's there's clear separation. And that's the reason why I use this slow motion is so that you can see it in its full glory. It's not so rushed. Hard drive space is cheap until you find out it costs you $200 for 20 minutes of fun. It might be worth it. Except that 20 minutes of fun can mean that you're warming up for 15 minutes and left with only five minutes of quality. <gasps> Still might be worth it. Based off the rough estimates of the clips I've used, here is how much space you need for every minute per megabit per second bit rate. And you can see it varies greatly. 500 megabytes all the way to 4.2 gigabytes. Let's say you don't use 60 frames per second and you want to extrapolate this to something like 30 frames per second, half that. So what you want to do is to get a comparable looking image, you want to half this bit rate that you're most comfortable with to whatever frame rate you're using, say 30 frames per second. So if you're using 600 megabits per second, you have to slash it down to 300 megabits per second to achieve the same type of quality. However, not all those bit rates will exist. It's safest just to go one step higher. For most of what I do, 45 megabits per second will do the job just fine. If I were doing weddings or if I were doing very high end fashion, yeah, I would try to stick with the 600 megabits per second all intra, except for moments where you have a lot of long form and slow activity. It would take me some convincing to get out of this HEVC mode. High bit rate H264 10 bit 42 is much harder to process. However, if a client asks for the highest quality, who am I to deny their code hard cash? Anyhow, let me know in the comments below which is your preferred method. Like, subscribe, share. See you on the next one. Take care.